That's Ma enough. Mr. President, I, well, that's I was going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's that had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Mr. Excuse President, me. that's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question, if go. I may ask, on, on the Russia investigation. Are you concerned that that you may have I'm not concerned about anything with you the may Russian investigation because it's a hoax. Are you That's enough. Put down the mic. Welcome to this week's Wacky Moments of Liberal Expression. Certainly this week was highlighted by CNN's Jim Acosta. Once again, trying to make presidential press conferences all about himself, hogging the mic and lecturing the president of the United States, all instead of, you know, asking questions. That this caravan was an invasion, as you know, I, Mr. President. I consider it to be an invasion. As you know, Mr. President, the caravan was not an invasion. It's a, it's a, a group of migrants moving up from Central America towards the border with the U.S. Thank you for telling and me that. And why, why did you, why did you characterize it as such? Uh, because and, I consider it an invasion. You and I have a difference of opinion. But do you think that you demonized immigrants? In not this election no, not to try I to want keep them I want them to come into the country, but they have to come in legally. You know, they have to come in Jim through a process. Oh, but that wasn't enough for Acosta. He had to have a complete tantrum. They're hundreds and hundreds of you miles away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let would me be ask, much better. If I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, if I may uh, ask Peter, one other ahead. question, are you worried? Of, that's enough. That's Mr. enough. Mr. President, I, well, that's I was going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Excuse President, me. That's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question, if I may ask. Why, Jim? Why? You would have seen the question that I was asking, which was essentially about this lie that he told before the midterm elections, that this caravan of migrants moving from Central America to the U.S. border uh, with Mexico is somehow an invasion. Well, I see. You know, Jim knows better, and the president lied, according to Acosta. I mean, why wouldn't we believe Jim? There, and as you can see in this video, uh, this intern came up to me. I, they're, they're describing her as an intern. I don't really know who she is, and attempted to take the microphone away from me. Uh, all I can say at that point is that I was trying to hang on to the microphone so I could continue to ask the president questions. Uh, obviously, I, you know, I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her, as they're alleging. Really, Jim? Really, Jim? You didn't touch the White House intern. That just never happened, huh? Acosta's behavior finally cost him his White House press pass, at least for a while. And, well, a while is also how long we may have to wait to find out the result of certain midterm elections in Georgia and Florida, as recounts and possible lawsuits over contested races are currently ongoing. But if the outcome is that Republicans win, well, the liberal media has decided that that will only be due to one reason. Everyone's favorite, racism. And Press Secretary Sarah Sanders was just asked for her thoughts on Florida, and she said, uh, I, I think a lot of credit will go to President Trump if, in fact, they pull off a victory there because he has been there to campaign for them, uh, both in the governor and the Senate race. But one thing we are not talking about right now is the overtones uh, of race and racism that have played out in the governor's race there. Uh, I, I think for many progressives in places like Florida and Georgia, they'll be, they'll be incredibly disappointed, and they'll be giving their white neighbors the hairy eyeball tomorrow, right? <laughs> Okay, turning our eyeballs, Harry and otherwise, to other election results. ABC's love affair with liberal Texas senatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke continues, as Paula Ferris informs us that her favorite rock star... You're a rock star! No, no, there's just so no, many great really people. Are. Yeah, Beto didn't lose to Ted Cruz. Instead, according to Ferris, he provided hope. Paula Ferris is in El Paso, and yes, uh, O'Rourke lost, but we're hearing about the Beto effect still in effect. Paula. Yeah, we sure are. Good morning to you, Robin. Texas Democrats who were hoping for a victory instead got hope for 2020. You see, his Senate loss is a liberal win for presidential hope. Uh, it's unusual logic, but most liberal logic is. So take, for instance, MSNBC's Stephanie Rule. Now, during this week's tragic shooting at a bar in California, a state with some very strict gun laws, Rule gets concerned that the shooting, well, the incident might strengthen the argument for having a good guy with a gun. Uh, you, you can't, in effect, bulletproof every location in America. That's the reality of it. But do you worry that things like this only support those arguments out there if only there was a good guy with a gun? I mean, when you go to a college bar, college kids don't carry guns, and we don't want them to. Ah, oh, Stephanie, why not just let the college students decide for themselves? The shooting is tragic, and our prayers, like those of many others, go out to those families there. What are you praying for? What would it take? 
How about a stadium full of children of the most influential people in our society, all holding puppies? What if they were all shot and killed? Would we act? It's not good enough. You know, you mean in thoughts addition, and prayers? Yes, thoughts I'm sorry, and prayers. that should be yeah. outlawed. I know it's well intended in some cases. <sighs> Prayers are well intended in some cases, but in others they should be outlawed. That's about enough liberalism as I can take today. I'm Eric Shiner from RCTV. We'll return again next week.